All right, so we've got an important video here. This is about how we edit our MIDI recordings. I'm gonna to go to my Mai Tai, I'll just click on the track, and that arms it, remember, that means now I can hear it. And once I can hear it, that means it's ready to record. Now, if I have a part, uh, let's just get something here, how about like... I'm gonna record that, so I'm gonna push R. It's gonna give me my four click count in, and then I'm gonna start recording. So now it's still in the record mode. If I push R, now it's not recording, it's just playing it back. If I push C, now the metronome goes away and I'm just listening to my recorded part. Now, to edit this part, I wanna go into it. So I'm gonna double click it, and up we get this view. This is called the MIDI editor. Now, if I expand this to take a look at it, let's go over some very fundamental features of this. The most important thing to notice here is this upwards piano, vertical piano. This is called the piano roll, and it's just like this one down here. As you can see, two black keys to the left of it, so to speak, and there's a C, two black keys into the left of it, there's a C and so on. So this is a few octaves of the piano going up and down. And we can uh, zoom in and out of this just like we did with the main view by pushing W and E or shift W and E to make it bigger vertically. I'll leave it like this for now. And then out of here, we can see that the white keys and the black keys extend in a certain way horizontally across the timeline. You can see this black line, then a white, then black, then two whites, right? That's like the black key, white key, black key, two white keys. So you can kind of see the piano keyboard extending horizontally across the whole timeline. And this lets us know what key we're on as we're trying to place notes in the timeline. So in the timeline, we can see the notes I've played. So here I've got an E flat key, here I've got a B flat key, so if I trace this back along the black line, it ends up on the B flat right here, or A sharp if you wanna call it that. And then the next thing to know is the grid. So the grid are the lines coming down. And the grid basically shows us perfect timing compared to our tempo. So this is 16th notes. Now for people who know about music, that might make sense to you. If it doesn't make sense to you, don't worry about it right now but this grid shows us what um, perfect time would be and we can see if we played things out of time. So as you can see, for instance, here's a badly played note. It's supposed to be on this line, but it's really early. Now, there's a bunch of ways to fix this that we're gonna get into talking about. But first I wanna talk about just moving the notes themselves. We can take any one of these notes, remember these are little MIDI messages that are telling Mai Tai what to play. I can just click it and drag it. So here's where it was, if we listen to this. But if I change this to say this one, or this one, so you see what I mean? I can go in and change the notes after I've actually played them. I'm gonna use uh, Command Z, undo, and go back to where it was. And then the next thing to know is you can change the length of them. So say I wanted this uh, first one to be shorter, I could just grab the end of it, just like an event, and drag it in and out. So I drag it really short. Now, this sound is probably not the best example for um, short and long notes because the sound itself is so short. But if we put this onto, say, the piano, I'm gonna take this event and drag it down onto the piano track instead. Now, if I shorten this, Real short note now. And if I drag it back out, really long. Now it holds the whole time. So we can change length like that. I'll go put it back up to the um, synth part it was on. And we can also determine velocity. Remember velocity is how hard you hit the key. And that's seen down here in this little graph. If I click on a note, it highlights it and this is how hard you hit it. At the top, it's full velocity, and at the bottom, 
is nothing. So I can go through and change the velocity of every note independently, or I can select a bunch of them and move them all at once. If I want a certain note to be really hard, I just bring it up. That's how we edit velocity. Now you can also see the velocity of your notes in the piano roll view, and that's how they're colored in. You see this lighter blue and darker blue? The lighter color is the velocity. See this one is almost entirely lighter blue? That means it's almost at full velocity, whereas this one's kind of at halfway. If I take this one and drag it down, see how it changes? So we can see velocity down here and we can see velocity here, but if we want to edit our velocities and change them, we have to use this graph down here. The next thing to know is that you can double click anywhere and add a note. And then if I've added my note, I can change its length. I can click it and move it around. And if I want to delete a note, I can double click it. So double click to add notes, double click to delete notes. I can also use the other commands we learned for our events, such as copy and paste and uh, duplicate. And if I hold the Alt key, I can click and drag and get a duplicate of that note and put it wherever I want. Use Command Z to get out of that. If I take a note and push D, I duplicate. I can take a whole bunch of notes, push Control C to copy them or Command C on the Mac, come over here and then push Command V to paste them. And I get them again like this. So all the same commands work up here as they do here. So one more time, that was moving them just by clicking and dragging, making them shorter and longer changing their velocity with the graph down here. Double clicking to add notes, double clicking to remove notes, and then all the copy and paste and duplicate functions that we've learned from our events before. So that's kind of how we can change our performance in terms of what notes are being played, how long they are, how hard we hit them. In the next video, we're gonna talk about quantizing, which is putting these notes onto proper time.